Such a cool mushroom, such a delicious mushroom that I wish I saw more regularly. Thankfully, I do have a few patches. This is the Shaggy Parasol Chlorophyllum Ricotis. Now, one thing that tripped me up is that I used to find them and they were small. Then I went to my friend's patch and look at the size of these things. So the size can be variable. And these ones are more close in size to their poisonous lookalike, which I will talk about a little bit. So here we have Molybdides on the left and Ricotis on the right. Molybdides is going to grow more in yards and things like that, and the cap is less shaggy. Most importantly, this is Molybdides. It has green spores under the cap, but mostly you're gonna see these in yards all around. The caps are less shaggy, and they're gonna have a noticeable green spore print. Okay, now, now we're back to the Chlorophyllum Ricotis that I was picking, and you can just see these things were absolutely massive. One of the biggest mushrooms that I've picked. So what you're gonna do, uh, no matter if you have a big one or if you have a small one, you're going to remove the stems. And the stems are kind of tough and they're really not that great. What you can do with them is take the ring off and then just kind of cut them into strips here. And we're basically just going to cut the mushrooms into basically like a small dice and from there, you can saute them and add them to a soup, or you can dry them to make mushroom broth, or you can add them to duck cells. But what we really wanna do is make mazze de tamburo, or drumsticks in Italian. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mushrooms and cut them into big pieces. And the key for this recipe, this is a really simple recipe, similar to many that I have put up, uh, kind of with one difference here. We're going to slowly fry these in olive oil until all of the moisture has gotten out as much moisture as we can. And we're not going to worry about the mushrooms soaking up extra oil. We're just going to keep adding oil until the mushrooms are totally saturated. And we're just going to keep frying them on kind of medium heat until they're just golden brown and delicious. And we'll hit them with a little little bit of salt kind of in the middle of cooking and we're just slowly frying these super slow until they're just golden brown like just big chunks of meat they are so good and I'm gonna eat some for you at the end here because I was just shocked at how concentrated the flavor gets now once these get nice and golden brown this should take at least 15 to 20 minutes we're gonna add a little bit of garlic just a tiny bit, and all we need to do is take the raw off here. So I'll put them into a hot pan, put it into a hot pan, turn the heat off, and then I'm just gonna drag the mushrooms through the garlic a little bit once the garlic is no longer raw. Just kind of coat them a little bit and, you know, get them ready to go. Now add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes and then a little bit of mint. You could add some parsley, but mint, hot chili, and garlic is a really good combination here. And then we're ready to go. That's all it is. Serve with a lemon wedge. Wonderful mushroom side dish. Another thing you can do with them is confit. And this is a way that I might store them. So I'm going to bake the mushrooms whole so that I can cut them into pieces without them breaking. And then we're just going to cut them into big wedges like before. I'm going to season them with salt. The recipe for mushroom confit is on my website. And we're just going to use about, you know half to 1% of the, uh, the beginning weight of the mushrooms in salt. And you can also just season them a little bit to taste. And you're going to add a bunch of herbs, a little bay leaf, a little thyme. You get a little garlic and then a bunch of oil. We're going to cover them with oil. And then we're just going to cook the mushrooms. Again here, we're cooking the mushrooms until all of the moisture has released because that is how we're going to get the most concentrated flavor out of these. And the flavor is... It is so good. It's hard to describe how rich and meaty these taste. So you can also bake it, you know, put them in the oven at like 250 degrees and just bake them in the oil for like 45 minutes to an hour until they're kind of leathery and they've shrunk and there's no, you can't see any water bubbling out of the mushrooms. And they're going to kind of look like little black blobs. They should be kind of leathery and you know, just absolutely rich and delicious, but they'll still be nice and tender. And from there, you can put those into a jar and then we'll just pour the oil over them. And these will last for a few months, especially if you, you know, heat them up, simmer them in something before you eat them, chop them up and add them to tomato sauce. Really wonderful. Okay, here is the fried matzo de tamburo. All right, 
Let's try some shaggy parasol mushrooms. It's been a few years since I've had one, so I'm really excited to see if they're as good as I remember. A little bit, a little bit of extra salt never hurt anybody. These are just such a cool looking mushroom side dish. Just big slabs of mushroom. Oh man, they're so rich and meaty. It's almost like eating a piece of meat or like someone took a mushroom and dipped it in meat juices. And if you just take the mushrooms and like chuck them in a pot of soup or something like that, which could be fine, they will taste okay, but they're gonna be more of a textural component. This right here, just the big slowly, slowly fried slices of mushroom, I think this is a great example of how mushroom recipes, you know, a lot of times we, people may think, oh, the more ingredients, the more complex the flavor. I mean, potentially, but with mushrooms, generally speaking, the less ingredients, the better it's going to be to taste the individual mushroom flavor. So the, the recipe here is not really what you put with it. It is the technique that really, really slow frying to evaporate all that water out and get them golden brown on both sides. The more water you get out of these mushrooms, the better and the richer they're going to taste. So that I think is the really big takeaway. One more. Yeah, they're so good. They're so good. They, they put to shame a lot of other mushrooms. And they're definitely one of the best tasting mushrooms with gills that I've had. They're just so rich, the umami. There's all kinds of stuff going on. So definitely a fantastic mushroom to eat and well worth the time that it takes to get to know them and to be able to separate them from the green sport lepiota. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about shaggy parasol mushrooms, chlorophyllum ricotis, a really delicious mushroom that takes a little bit of getting to know, and they're a little bit of a learning curve, but they're absolutely delicious, and if you find some, you definitely need to try them. All the recipes and everything are linked at the top of the video description on my website. Thanks for watching.